This conference will now be recorded. Okay, we'll talk about bank accounts. When we're talking about bank accounts, we know for what purpose we will be using a bank account. We will be using a bank accounts or bank account concept in general for cash and bank related GL accounts. We will be using for cash and bank related GL account. Typically, we use bank accounts or you will segregate cash account and bank account separately. If I take two instances, if I take ECC instance, if I take S4 HANA instance, in ECC, what we used to do is I will write something called cash accounts. When I say cash accounts, I'll simply put cash GLs. Similarly, I'll put bank GLs. We have cash GL accounts plus we also have bank GL accounts. In ECC, you have cash GL account. In S4 HANA also, you have cash GL account. Similarly, in ECC, you have bank GL account. In S4 HANA system also we have bank GL account, but there is some slight differences when it comes to cash accounts and bank accounts when it comes to S4 HANA. Within S4 HANA there is again some segregation. When I say within S4 HANA there is some segregation. When you're writing HANA you need to be very specific. HANA until 1909. If I say HANA until 1909 and then I'll put one more point. S4 HANA. 2020 onwards similar to your house bank functionality similar to your migrate your data LTMC all these kind of a things on the same basis you have some changes in the cash account treatment bank account treatment when it comes to HANA from 2020 onwards what is the changes in ECC what we used to do is let me put these accounts these accounts everywhere you have the similar GL account Cash GL account, bank GL account, we were having everywhere. But when it comes to ECC, these two are represented as balance sheet account. In ECC, we were treating this, treating them as balance sheet account. In ECC, you were treating them as balance sheet account. Similarly, when it comes to S4 HANA until 1909, same thing, we were using them as balance sheet account. Even when it comes to S4 HANA from 2020 onwards, we were using same balance sheet account, but along with the balance sheet account, there is one more concept called cash account. Along with the balance sheet account, there is another concept called cash account. I'll write cash account here. You can treat from 2020 onwards all your cash GL account, bank GL account as cash account, but you need to choose between only one. Either you need to treat your cash bank GL accounts as cash account, or you need to treat them as balance sheet account, which is the traditional or classic way of using your bank GL account or in S4 HANA system, you can add a new functionality called cash accounting. According to cash accounting, you are treating your bank accounts and your cash accounts in a different way. When I say you are treating your cash account, bank account in a different way, let me show you the GL account creation for bank account in ECC system. Similarly, I'll also show you the GL account creation in S4 HANA system for the bank account. Then we will try to understand what is the actual difference, how we need to understand it. Let me go to ECC first. This is my ECC system and also let me open S4 HANA system. This is my S4 HANA system. Left side, you are able to see ECC. Right side, you are able to see S4 HANA system. Let me put them side by side. So wherever you see this SAP demo system, this is your ECC environment. Where there is no SAP demo system, that is your S4 HANA environment. This is your HANA 2023 version. This is your ECC EHP 7 version. What I'll do is let me try to create a GL account for that. What I'll do, I'll go to FS00 here, press enter. In the similar way, I'll also come to FS00 in S4 HANA system. Same transaction code FS00. I got this screen. If you see this, you don't find much difference here. Let me open 
this also in the hierarchy display settings hierarchy display display accounts in the navigation tree continue okay and then let me restart the transaction fs00 once again now you can see the both the company codes in ecc and in s4 hana system how gl account is being represented there is some minute change in the ecc system there is some minute change in the s4 hana system based on the functionalities that are implemented based on the functionalities that are implemented you will find minute changes here first thing what you are able to see here is you have gl account here also you have gl account company code here also you have a company code next what i'll do is i'll simply try to create a gl account for cash account for which what i'll do i'll click on this create icon i'll click on create icon here similarly in s4 hana system let me click on create icon i've clicked on create icon on ecc system i have also clicked on create icon on s4 hana system i will put any one account number for example i'll put let me take the number range what is currently used if i display this 1 2 3 this is a six digit gl account number i'll copy this number when i create it i'll make sure that i'll create the next available number which is my 10 i'll create this gl account at 10 i'll click on continue this is already there let me try to click 96 this is fine similarly i'll also see here liquid funds account this is how many digits I'll copy this I'll click on create I'll put this here also I'll put ending with 96 in both the screens we are on the place where you are able to create the GL account now point number one what we need to observe here is what information you are supposed to update when you are creating a bank GL account I am assuming that I would like to create a bank GL account straight away I will put the GL description first I'm not selecting anything I will put bank account or I'll simply put bank account here also I will put bank account at both the places I am writing bank account meaning we are trying to create a bank GL account in ECC system we are also trying to create bank GL account in the S4 HANA system now in ECC to create a bank GL account first thing what I need to do is I need to select the account group I need to select the account group I am going to select the account group let's say liquid fund accounts I am selecting account group here even in S4 HANA system there is a something called account group I'll open the drop down let me select same account group liquid fund accounts I have selected same thing here but in ECC system after this there is something called there's nothing this is because of other functionalities you are able to see this else you just need to select whether this is a PNL account or it is a balance sheet account in ECC, there is a radio button to differentiate between PNL account and balance sheet account, and it's a single word. When I say it is a single word, either PNL or balance sheet. There is no further classification in PNL. There is no further classification in balance sheet when it comes to ECC. But when you are on the S4 HANA system, for your PNL, there is a further classification. For your balance sheet, there is a further classification. Accord according to our requirement, we are planning to create we are planning to create a bank GL account. We are all aware bank is a balance sheet account. We all are aware that bank is a balance sheet account. What I'll do is I will select balance sheet account the radio button here. I am selecting bank is a balance sheet GL account. Similarly in S4 HANA system what I'll do is I don't find any radio button here. Since in ECC there were only two options you have, you have been provided with a radio button to pick either PNL or a balance sheet whereas in S4 HANA system as it is no longer a single radio button it is not only a PNL it is not only a balance sheet within PNL you have categorization within balance sheet you have categorization make sure you are able to identify the right categorization for the balance sheet account or for the PNL account 
for that you need to look at the gl account type for that you need to look at the gl account type if you open the drop down for the gl account type if you open the drop down for the gl account type you are able to see five categories here one is your cash account two is your non operating expense or non operating income three is primary cost or revenue four is secondary cost fifth is your balance sheet account now from this your cash account balance sheet account are representing balance sheet gl accounts your cash account and balance sheet account is representing balance sheet gls on the other side you have non operating primary and secondary these are representing your pnl gls these are representing your pnl gls meaning whenever you are planning to create any gl account master data first you need to understand what is the nature of gl account whether it is pnl or balance sheet according to pnl according to balance sheet which account type has to be allotted to it if it is a balance sheet account you need to decide whether to create it under balance sheet categorization or under cash account on the other side if it is a pnl account decide whether it is non operating or primary or secondary on what basis you are going to segregate on what basis you are going to identify which is something that you need to understand as a fico consultant because tomorrow when somebody is asking you why you have this what is this used for you need to have a valid reasonable answer if you are talking about cash account cash account is straight forward cash bank gl accounts are used by cash account you can use cash account only if you are creating gl account which is part of cash or gl account which is part of bank anything which is cash anything which is bank you can allot cash account otherwise otherwise apart from cash account apart from bank account every balance sheet gl account will be categorized as balance sheet account other than cash other than bank everything will be balance sheet account if it is a balance sheet gl but the only condition is you need to decide how you want to treat your bank accounts you just need to decide how you would like to treat your bank accounts whether you want to treat bank accounts in the classic methodology or in the new methodology whether you you want to treat the bank accounts in the classic method or in the new method what is classic method what is new method let us try to understand this is the main difference which we would like to understand if i come to sa excel sheet now in the excel sheet what i'll do is i'll try to put assuming i'll put example others please be on mute navin can you go on mute please yeah. i'd say that we have opened a bank account with i'll say access bank i don't put account i'll simply put current account with access bank and i'll say account number 123456 or 123 some number inr currency and i'll put we will be using this account for incoming and outgoing payments purpose because we also need to understand for what purpose we will be using the bank account sometimes certain bank accounts will be opened only for the incoming purpose sometimes some bank accounts will be opened only for the outgoing purpose sometimes your bank account may be opened for both incoming and outgoing purpose in our example we are assuming that our bank account is created our bank account is created for both incoming payment plus outgoing payment purpose now in general what we all do as of now 
with the bank what we will do you are going to create gl first thing we will be creating a gl master data second one you will create house banks third thing what we will do is we will configure automatic payment program fourth one you will config bank reconciliation this is what the configuration this is what the setup normally we all will do whenever there is a new bank account created by any company or created by any client tomorrow when somebody is asking you in your interview or anywhere if your client has opened a new bank account if your client has opened a new bank account and they have created an incident they have created an incident to set up the bank account in sap what will you do and this is how you will be given the scenario based questions you need to understand whenever a client is opening a new bank account assuming your client has opened a new account in the access bank they have provided this is the bank account number this is the account currency and we will be using it for incoming and outgoing payment please set it up in sap you need to understand what setup you are going to do if a new bank account is created point number 1 you need to create a gl account the starting point is to create the gl account when you are creating a gl account you have you need to have a logic we have we have already understood whenever you create a bank gl account there is a logic this logic is nothing but you have main account and sub account we have a logic called main account and sub account we will be creating a main bank account we will be creating different sub accounts or different waiting accounts this is sub account waiting account clearing accounts we will be creating for the purpose of bank reconciliation in order to have proper bank reconciliation proper brs we are going to create main account sub account concept here now according to this main account and sub account concept what we will do here is for every bank you are creating a different set of gl accounts for every bank account there will be a different set of bank gl account which is if you have access bank account if you have access bank account for this access bank account what i'll do is i may say 1000 because we are using 1310 for our bank according to our chart of account we have decided 1310 will be used for bank gl account number range now in 1310 i would say 1010 in 1310 i would say 1010 is used for main account 1010 is used for main account plus 1310 1011 i would say this is used for outgoing similarly 1310 1012 i would say this is used for incoming i am saying this is how i am using the gl account in the current sap system now what we are doing you are creating main account you are creating outgoing account you are also creating incoming account for every bank now this is the minimum required gl account count minimum 3 gl accounts are required for every bank account one main account one incoming account one outgoing account you can further break down your outgoing into multiple you can further break down your incoming into multiple based on the mode of payment if i say i have check payment i would say check incoming check outgoing if i have transfer outgoing transfer incoming i will be using different gl account for transfers different gl account for check meaning i may be ending up creating five gl accounts if i have any other mode of payment if i have any other mode of payment for example ach payment or any other thing i may be creating another incoming account another outgoing account maximum we are going to allocate we are going to allot 10 account numbers for every bank account according to the regular logic according to the regular scenario we are going to allot 10 gl account numbers for every bank account these gl account numbers are having same logic this gl account numbers are having same logic meaning when you are talking about main bank account is ending with a zero irrespective of your company code irrespective of your bank account every bank gl account every bank gl account if it is representing main bank it is ending with a zero similarly irrespective of the company code irrespective of the bank account if you are talking about check outgoing account 
if you decide that check outgoing will be ending with one in all the company codes for all the bank accounts check outgoing will be ending with one similarly in all the company codes if your check incoming account is ending with two you are going to update check incoming account in all the company codes will be ending with two for all the bank accounts whether it is hdfc bank whether it is axis bank whether it is bank of america or any other bank you are going to use the same logic same bank account representation now why we are using different different gl accounts for different different purposes based on the same logic just to make sure you will be able to mask you will be able to create easier easier reconcilable transactions at the payment and at the brs to make sure your payments whether it is automatic or it is manual is performed in a smooth manner at the same time your bank reconciliation is performed easily to make sure your automatic payments to make sure your bank reconciliation is performed perfectly or easily you are going to have a logic for all the bank accounts this is what we are creating now while using this approach what is happening we are ending up creating lot of gl accounts you are ending up creating lot of gl accounts because straightforward we are blocking the 10 gl numbers for every bank account straightforward we are blocking 10 gl numbers for every bank account when i say we are blocking the 10 gl accounts for every bank account assuming we'll take an a scenario here if i take current logic for bank gls in the client let's assume that current logic for creating a bank gl accounts in any client you can replace the client by any name of your company code that you are using i will say here main bank account should end with a zero and i'll say check incoming should end with one check outgoing should end with two and transfer incoming should end with three similarly transfer outgoing should end with four like this you can create any logic if you have any other thing for example ACH incoming should end with 5, ACH outgoing should end with a 6. If you have any other mode of payment, it is completely dependent, dependent on how you are processing your payment. Accordingly, we need to decide what logic we are going to follow. Assuming our client is following this logic currently, according to this, according to this, for every bank account, there will be 7 GL accounts created. According to this, for every bank account, you will be creating 7 gl account now if you have for example access bank you have four accounts i'll say bank name number of accounts similarly if i say hdfc and i have two accounts and i'll say sbi i have three accounts and I'll say Kotak or any other bank assuming that I have only one account I have only a single account I have a single account now based on this what you are going to do is you are going to create different different GL account number of bank accounts now accordingly you are going to create GL accounts here I'll say number of gl account as per our logic as per our logic for every bank account there should be seven gl accounts created according to our logic for every bank account we need to create seven gl accounts if you have if you have one bank for one bank there should be seven gl account this is the standard logic whether you use it or you do not use it it is immaterial whether you are going to use it, you are not going to use it, it is immaterial. If you have a logic in your client that for every bank account, there should be seven GL account, check incoming, check outgoing, transfer incoming, transfer outgoing, ACH incoming, ACH outgoing, and then one main account. Do accounting, you will get seven.
for every bank account irrespective of the bank you need to create seven seven account meaning you have to open seven gl account because for every bank if you see you should find the unique gl account sequence everywhere every account should end with zero for main everywhere every account should end with one if it is a check incoming according to this logic in short this logic must be implemented for creating the gl accounts in short now as per this you are going to create how many accounts i'll say total gls if i say total gls it will be 7 multiplied by 4 28 gls here if i do the same 14 here if I do the same 21 here, if I do the same 7 here, my grand total will be 70 GL accounts. My grand total will be 70 GL accounts. If I go with this logic, if I go with this logic, my total will be 70 GL accounts. But this is your traditional way of creating a GL account or a classic way of creating a bank GL account in SAP. But you have another functionality called cash accounts. You have another GL account concept called cash account. If you go to S4 HANA system, if you go to S4 HANA system, you have two options here for any balance sheet account. Point number one, cash account. Point number two, balance sheet account. Point number one, cash account. Point number two, balance sheet account. Now, when you're talking about balance sheet account, you need to create 70 GL accounts. No other go. If I'm opting for the balance sheet account concept, I need to create 70 GL accounts for these many banks to set up these banks in SAP we need to create 7070 GL accounts in the system on the other side if you opt for cash account concept on the other side if you opt for cash account concept let me select balance sheet account nothing else is happening here if I select balance sheet account nothing is happening here but see if I select cash account here if I select a cash account here, there is something called a GL account subtype. The moment I select a cash account, it is asking me to select GL account subtype. If I open this drop down here, if I open this drop down here, it is asking me to choose between three entries. One is your bank reconciliation account. Second one is your petty cash account. Third one is bank sub account. Bank reconciliation account, petty cash account, bank sub account everybody is aware what is petty cash account which will be used for exclusively cash journal functionality petty cash account we will be using for cash journal functionality this we will ignore it for time being because it is straightforward the whole objective is to understand how your bank accounts are created we need to play with two things point number one is b point number two is s b is your brs account s is your bank sub account now this BRS account bank sub account will act exactly same like your accounts payable accounts receivable in short customer account vendor account in short customer account vendor account. Now when it comes to customer account when it comes to vendor account what we are going to do here is you have balance sheet you have balance sheet in balance sheet you are going to represent accounts payable in balance sheet you are going to represent accounts payable i will say accounts payable as 5000 now this 5000 has got a breakup this 5000 has got a breakup this breakup i will be able to see at the vendor level now i can say that vendor 1 is 300 Vendor 2 is 3000, Vendor 3 is 1700 and overall if I do a total I am able to see 5000. This 5000 is matching with this 5000. This I would say my breakup. This is my breakup for my accounts payable. From where you got the breakup, breakup from your accounts payable from the individual vendor account. Now on what basis you are connecting individual vendor account with the accounts payable based on the reconciliation concept we are using something called reconciliation account based on the reconciliation account whenever you process any accounting entry in the respective vendor account this is hitting your accounts payable gl account whenever you are processing any accounting entry in the respective vendor account it is hitting the accounts payable gl account 
your accounts payable GL account in the balance sheet is giving you the overall picture overall balance if you further want accounts payable breakup you can still do it how you are doing the further breakdown further breakup of your accounts payable you can say accounts payable domestic you can also say accounts payable imports you can also say accounts payable employees likewise you can further segregate your accounts payable balances and everything will have again some classification called vendor from every accounts payable you are drilling down at the vendor level in the same concept you can drill down at the in the same concept you can drill down at the bank account level in the same concept you can drill down at the bank account level here what you will do is in the same balance sheet in the same balance sheet you are going to write bank main account you are going to write bank incoming account you are going to write bank outgoing account if you want you can segregate further if you want you can segregate further but generally we will be using only three generally we will be using only three or you can use based on the payment method you can use three or you can split multiple payments only for the outgoing account because when you are receiving the payment it has got nothing to do with your payment method whenever you are receiving the payment from customer you have got nothing to do with the payment method whatever the amount that you are receiving from the customer straight away you will load it in the bank incoming GL account so incoming GL account in most of the situations it's a single GL account but when it comes to outgoing GL account you can split outgoing GL account based on the payment method if you have checks you can have a separate bank outgoing or bank check outgoing account you can also have bank transfer outgoing account either ways you can do it now when i talk about bank main account what system will do is if it is showing somewhere around 10,000 as your outgoing sorry main account balance now this 10,000 this 10,000 will have a breakup What is the breakup of this 10,000 this 10,000 is giving you the breakup of different different bank accounts What is the breakup for this 10,000 if I highlight this 10,000 here? I can say HDFC account SBI account Access account and then Kotak account and then Kotak account. I will say from HDFC the balance is 2000. From SBI it is 3500. And then it will be 1500. And the leftover is 6000. In the Kotak I would say 6000. My overall balance is I think I will say 4000 here. 10,000. I would say my overall balance is 10,000. Now what we are able to observe here is in your balance sheet I can write bank main account as a single line item. I can write bank main account as a single line item and I can consolidate all the bank main account balances here. I can consolidate all the bank main account balances here like HDFC main account balance, SBI main account balance, Access, Kotak bank main account balance. All account balances together will be representing available bank closing balance meaning you are no longer you are no more representing multiple bank accounts here otherwise what will happen you are going to represent access main account access main account access main account access main account four times why four times here you would have listed access bank account four times what i'll do in the additional in the traditional way i may be representing access main account 1 access main account 2 access main account 3 access main account 4 okay similarly sbi hdfc 2 sbi 3 now hdfc 1 hdfc main 1 
HDFC main 2 and then I'll say SBI main 1, SBI main 2, SBI main 3, Kotak main 1. This is how I may be representing. If I do a total, my HDFC total is 2000. I may split 2000 into any ways, maybe 300, 500. 1100 this is now 1900 I'll put 100 here now this is equaling to 2000 this 2000 is here this is the 2000 here now let me mark all these things I'll put this 2000 is equated to this 2000 first point second point I'll put HDFC main account sorry this is your access access is 1500 so what I'll do 1100 minus 500 is what 800 700 600 1500 so i'll put access account here next thing for hdfc you have got 2000 for hdfc i will say 2000 as 1200 and 800 1200 800 is becoming 2000 I'll mark this 2000 with another color and I'll highlight this 2000 here. Last one you have state bank of account. State bank you have got 2500. I'll say seven hundred, thirteen hundred, two thousand, and then I'll put 500. Now these three I'll put another color and I'll put this one here. And finally, you have Kotak 4000. I'll put Kotak another color. I'll put Kotak straight away 4000. Same color for Kotak. Now, in your balance sheet, this is another way of representation. This is again balance sheet. This is again your balance sheet. In balance sheet, if you are using a classic bank accounting functionality this is how you will be representing if you have how many bank accounts if you have 10 bank accounts this is how you are going to represent your main account balance will be represented at 10 times because for every individual bank account there is a dedicated gl account for every individual bank account there is a dedicated gl account for every nature of account for every nature of transaction when i say for every nature of transaction for main account for incoming account for outgoing account likewise whatever the way that you have segregated for your payments for your incomes you need to have a dedicated gl account meaning your main account bank incoming account bank outgoing account based on the mode of payment now accordingly you are going to have multiple gl accounts here in short if you look at your bank account only for the main you are able to see 10 line items here in the balance sheet in the balance sheet you are able to see 10 line items here sum of 10 line items is equaling to 10,000. Sum of 10 bank account, main account balance is equaling to 10,000. On the other side, on the other side, if you segregate, if you sum based on each bank account, it is equaling to 2,000 for HDFC bank, 2,500 for SBI, 1,500 for Axis bank, 4,000 for Kotak bank. This extract is coming from this individual bank accounts segregated based on the bank based on the name of the bank now this is segregation you are writing as a single line item in the balance sheet as bank account main balance 10000 now anybody who is looking at your balance sheet for example your manager is looking your finance manager finance director your cfo is looking they would like to have the clear representation of the bank position if they would like to have the clear representation clear position of the bank account balances they are only concerned about what is my total bank account balance. They are only concerned about what is my total bank account balance. Accordingly, they want to see it in their balance sheet. If you go with the traditional approach, they will not be able to see the overall bank balance because every time you need to do a sum of the 10 GL account. Because every time you need to do the total of 10 bank main GL accounts, run a report with the 10 GL accounts, only then you will get 10,000. 
in case if you miss a GL account, your bank account balance may go wrong because one GL account is skipped. On the other side, if I have all the 10 bank accounts mapped under one single main account, if all the 10 bank accounts irrespective of the bank, whether it is a state bank, whether it is Axis, HDFC, Kotak, whatever it is, if I am tagging all the bank accounts into a single GL account, the moment I run the bank main GL account, I will get to know what is my overall available bank balance. I will come to know what is my overall bank balance. Anyways, your bank transactions are based on the account. Anyways, your bank transactions are based on the account. When you're talking about the account, you are representing a bank account. When we're talking about the bank account, we are representing individual account number, individual account that we are operating with the respective bank. In our example, Axis Bank 1, Axis Bank 2, 3, 4. There will be four separate current accounts in the Axis Bank. There will be two separate current accounts in the HDFC Bank. There will be three separate current accounts in the State Bank of India. There will be a dedicated separate current account in the Kotak Bank. When you're re receiving the transaction, when you're processing the bank reconciliation, when you're processing the payment, every time you're adding the transaction, every time you're identifying the transaction with the help of bank account. Now, how your banks are identified in SAP? For every bank, we are doing some configuration called house bank. For every bank, you're doing a configuration called house bank. In the house bank, what exactly we are creating? We are creating a two points under house bank. Point number one, house bank point number two house bank account one you are creating a house bank other one you are creating a house bank account that is what we have done for every bank account because if you do not create a house bank if you do not create a house bank for any bank account any transaction related to the bank account is not possible we are all very clear with this basic fundamental point if you are not creating the house bank any transaction related to the bank account is not possible in SAP. Right. According to the logic, what we are doing for a, whenever you open a bank account, you are going inside the FI12 transaction code. You are creating a house bank and then you are going to SAP Fury, manage bank account. You are creating the account ID wherein you are mapping a GL account. Wherein we are mapping a GL account. If you look at your Fury screen or if you look at your this one, now I'll keep this screen open. Let me go to Fury. If I go to 2022 Fury, let me see if it is working. Now, this is now back. Meanwhile, let me straight away open the bookmark related to manage bank accounts. Let me pull this manage bank accounts. I think this is a little slow. Let me refresh it again. Duplicate. Okay. Now the server is up. Let me wait.
think this is very slow, I guess. Not slow, the others are working. Okay, while this gets loaded. Okay, while this gets loaded, what I'll do is let me go to SAP and if I maximize this S4 HANA system, whenever you would like to create a bank with GL account, make sure you will be selecting cash account. When you select a cash account, you need to select GL account subtype for all the main GL accounts. For all the main GL accounts, you will have to select bank reconciliation account. For all the main GL account, you need to put bank reconciliation account I'm straight away going to save this this is one more point g001 sorry this is your standard I need to put yb01 001 Okay, I'm able to create the GL account now. Next thing what I'll do is I would like to create another bank account called bank outgoing account or bank sub account. For that what I'll do, I'm going to change the description of this. I'll change this GL description to bank main account. Now I have updated this GL account description as bank main account. Now, next thing, what is going to happen? You are supposed to create individual bank sub account. When I say individual bank sub account, in each bank account, you need to represent whether it is a check incoming account, check outgoing account, transfer incoming account, transfer outgoing account, and so on. Likewise, for every respective bank account, dedicated GL account needs to be created. The count increases the moment your bank account increases. If you have one bank account, if you are using the seven GL account logic, 1 multiplied by 7, 7 GL account. If you are using 2 bank accounts, 2 multiplied by 7, 14 GL accounts. If you are using 3 bank accounts, 3 multiplied by 7, 21 GL account. If you are using 4 bank accounts, 4 multiplied by 7, 28. Likewise, the moment you add next bank account, multiplied by 7 will be included. You need to also include multiplication of 7 so that 7 individual GL accounts to be created. Now to avoid this, to eliminate this number of GL accounts for bank account, you have another provision, another functionality called cash accounting, which will work exactly similar to customer account and vendor account. What is going to happen when you are creating a customer? If I go to, let me come out of ECC. Now I'll go to 2022 system. I'll go to a business partner because we're talking about customer vendor customer vendor is represented in the business partner okay bank account is here now okay I let me open any one vendor I'll pick any one vendor really slow okay in this what I'll do I'll go to FI vendor and in FI vendor if I go to company code segment inside the company code segment there is something called reconciliation account I think everybody is clear with the concept of vendor reconciliation account plus customer reconciliation account we are all aware on what basis how we will be creating vendor reconciliation account 
customer reconciliation account is it is completely optional it is completely dependent on the business requirement you can create only one vendor reconciliation account for all the vendors you can segregate multiple reconciliation accounts based on the requirement one accounts payable gl account is possible multiple accounts payable gl accounts are also possible whatever the way you would like to see your reporting in the balance sheet accordingly you are deciding it there is no fixed logic for it if you create one account you are correct if you create multiple accounts still you are correct provided you have the valid business case provided you have valid business requirement now what i'll do i'll simply open a drop down here if i open a drop down here i am getting only one account number here i am getting only one account number here on what basis system is bringing this gl account number there is a logic again here there is again a logic this logic is nothing but if you go to gl account master data fs00 and if i take this one okay if i put accounts payable this gl account if i go to display if i go to control data tab in control data there is something called recon account type for account type there is something called vendor here whatever the gl account is updated with reconciliation type as vendor all such gl account numbers wherever reconciliation account type vendor is updated that list will appear here that list is appearing here by the system meaning system is picking up the reconciliation gl account based on a logic that logic is your gl account control data field reconciliation type k similar similarly when you go to customer reconciliation account logic is logic is in the gl account control data wherever reconciliation account type is d customer that list is coming here on the same logic when you create a bank account on the same logic whenever you create a bank account system is picking up the reconciliation update here now what i'll do i'll try to create the next gl account number which is a sub account next gl account number which is a sub account here you can see bank reconciliation account here it is updating this as a bank reconciliation account and this one this one you are calling it as a vendor reconciliation account this is a reconciliation account for vendor and this is a reconciliation account for bank same logic the representation is different field alignment is different but the concept is one and the same the way you are understanding vendor reconciliation account there in the similar way you are able to understand in the similar way you are able to understand bank reconciliation account here because when it comes to vendor vendor is a sub ledger when it comes to vendor vendor is a sub ledger when it comes to gl account gl account cannot be a sub ledger when it comes to vendor when it comes to gl gl is not a sub ledger that is why within the gl you can see this is a reconciliation account next what i'll do is let me create another gl account which is the next number of it click on create i'll take next number 97 i'll select the same thing cash account if you are using a cash account for all the banks you must follow the cash account only it is not that for some bank account i will use cash account for the other bank account balance sheet account not possible either go with the complete cash account logic or go with the complete balance sheet concept mixing is not allowed you are not supposed to mix it either go with cash account logic or go with the balance sheet logic now when i create the cash account this is my i'll say i'm writing the description first bank outgoing account i'm going to write a description bank outgoing account bank outgoing account we know this bank outgoing account is a sub account sub account is a similar to sub ledger account in your normal general terminology the way you are creating a vendor account in the similar way you are creating this in the similar way you are creating this what i'll do is i will open the drop down gl account sub type gl account sub type this is not a main account this is not a main account so what i need to select i have to select bank sub account here i must select bank sub account let me double click on this 
let me double click on this the moment i press enter bank sub account it is asking me to input the reconciliation account the moment i put bank sub account it is asking me to put reconciliation account exactly the same way exactly the same way when you're creating a vendor account system is asking you to put a reconciliation account exactly the same way when you're creating a vendor account the way system is asking you to input reconciliation account without reconciliation gl account vendor account cannot be created because data from vendor account will flow to gl account similarly data from your sub account will flow to main account because that is where you are performing the reconciliation that is where you are doing brs reconciliation and all now here if you look at it here if you look at it if i open the drop down here if i open the drop down it is giving me some gl accounts here if i open the drop down this is giving me some gl account wherever wherever bank gl account subtype is created as b bank reconciliation account only those gl accounts are appearing here only those gl accounts are appearing here other gl accounts are not coming because it is exactly picking the gl account where gl account is tagged as a reconciliation account since your previous gl account 97 it is previous one was 96 you need to tag this 96 you need to press enter you need to press enter then system will understand okay for this sub account this is the main account meaning this sub account balances i need to consider while including the main account balances these two are interconnected the connection between your sub account main account is the reconciliation account similarly connection between your vendor account gl account is again a reconciliation account exactly the same logic if you are able to write down the logic of your vendor logic of your customer and if you are clear with it same logic you apply to the gl account that becomes your bank account based on the cash account concept once you create it you save it let me put this 001 this one relevant to cash flow and here you need to put house bank account id this we anyways understood even in our previous sessions for every house bank for every bank gl account whatever you are creating ensure the relevant to cash flow house bank account id is updated without fail same thing here also save the account account group is missing what is it liquid fund accounts let me save this now this gl account is saved now what is happening you have chosen a concept called cash account according to cash account according to cash account bank main account bank sub account are interconnected bank main account bank sub account are interconnected now this connection has to be applicable or enabled in your bank account now if i look at my bank accounts for example i'll pull my bank accounts from any one company code put your company code execute Now this is the bank account which is currently created for this company code open this Now in this if you go to house bank account connectivity in this if you click on house bank account connectivity You will find house bank account connection here expand this selection by clicking on this arrow mark expand this selection you will get the further details on it now if you scroll down a little you will find something called a gl account mapping here you will find something called a gl account mapping here and this gl account will tell you whether it is a bank reconciliation account or not there will be a separate selection there will be a separate field through which SAP or system is identifying this GL account is created as a cash account or as a balance sheet account If it is created as a cash account, it will give you reconciliation account as yes If it is created as a balance sheet account, it will give you reconciliation account as no In our example, I have created this as balance sheet account That is why reconciliation account is no But when you create a bank account and when you try to put this GL account when you create a balance sheet account sorry bank account and when you put this gl account since it is a bank reconciliation account 
it will check this icon it will check this field if it is b balance sheet account sorry bank reconciliation account and this gl account is allotted in the bank house bank account connectivity it will show that this is a reconciliation account because we are all aware whenever you create any house bank account id you have to strictly connect bank main account not the sub account if your main account is a cash account under the cash account if you are choosing the bank reconciliation account your account id connectivity will show reconciliation account as yes after that any transaction that you post after that any transaction that you post for example if i try to post f dash 0 2 f dash 0 2 i'll put any amount here anything let me try to put bank gl account 1310001 not there if i select bank outgoing account i'll press enter when i press enter this is what this is how system is showing me the number on the same way on the other side if i create the gl account on the other way around if i create the bank gl account other way around the other way around is nothing but if i am creating the gl account as this now let me go to this this is my bank sub account this is my bank sub account we are all aware in the bank sub account your regular entries are posted in the bank main account brs entries are posted this basic fundamentals will remain same in both the logics make sure your bank main account is updated only when you perform bank reconciliation your bank sub account is updated for your day to day banking transaction if i try to pass any entry in this i'll copy this let me go to f dash 0 2 here f dash 0 2 if i try to put any entry if i put this account number you will see some difference here what is the difference we are able to identify here between these two screens both are the same screens where i am using f dash 0 2 both are f dash 0 2 but one is with bank account logic using balance sheet account another one is the same bank account logic using cash account if you are using a balance sheet account straight away you can input the data but when you are using a cash account it is asking you to input house bank and account id mandatory without house bank without account id no bank gl account entry is possible if you are using cash account concept if you are using a cash account concept any account that you are posting any entry that you are using for the bank gl account house bank and account id becomes mandatory by default house bank and account id becomes mandatory by default unless and until you fill this unless and until you fill this your entry is not possible because these are by default mandatory meaning if i say that this amount is some thousand dollars now i need to mention this thousand dollars is related to bank outgoing account from which bank outgoing account why which bank outgoing account if you look at the logic in the excel sheet what you're writing you're writing single bank account for all the accounts you're writing single bank account representing all account this thousand dollar is it from this account this account this account this account you need to mention how you will identify each account for every account there is a house bank there is an account id for example for access i may say access followed by access one this may be my bank account similarly this may be my access two three four this may be my house bank and account id logic similarly if i go to hdfc it may be hdfc hdfc1 hdfc hdfc2 sbi sbi1 sbi sbi2 likewise now while posting the transaction make sure you put the appropriate bank account details here while posting the entry if it is related to what bank while posting the entry if this is related to access access one you input this so system will capture at the transaction level that this transaction belongs to this bank this account id now when you are generating any report whenever you generate any report in every report every document will represent house bank and account id this becomes mandatory so whenever you generate any report you can put filter at the house bank you can put filter at the account id at the table level at the report level to easily track 
what is the account balance what is the transaction coming from each of the bank account each of the bank account you can set filters at the house bank account id columns this is what you need to understand when you are processing manual entry when you are processing automated entries when we say when you are processing automated entries you will have automated entries at two places for your bank account you will have automated entries at two places for your bank account point number one your automatic payment program whenever you execute f110 your automatic payment program or whenever you process payment with f-58 whenever you process payment with f-58 you will see that the bank gl account is automatically picked up by the system meaning if i go here for example if i go to f-53 in f-53 i can feed bank gl account manually in f-53 i can feed bank gl account mandatory and house bank and account id is available here now for every bank account you must input house bank account id the moment you put bank gl account these two becomes mandatory these two becomes mandatory these are becoming mandatory based on the gl account type whether you created as a balance sheet account or you created as a cash account that decides whether it is mandatory or not this is point number one where you will be feeding the bank gl account manually point number two you have outgoing payment with printout that is your f-58 if you go to f-58 this is what we are going to feed here based on the company code payment method house bank account id check lot if you proceed further you will be able to enter the payment click on the enter payment here you will only find the amount there is no account here if you see there is no account here you want system to bring bank gl account here you want system to bring a bank gl account here and you have 10 bank accounts here you want system to bring bank gl account whereas you have 10 bank accounts here on what basis you are going to pull up on what basis you are going to pull bank gl account here that is one question mark second point when you perform automatic payments if you go to f110 if you perform f110 here also you have no option to input bank gl account here also you have no option to input bank gl account here also you need to understand on what basis system is bringing the gl account point number two point number three when you're performing the bank reconciliation when you're performing the bank reconciliation how system will perform the brs how you are going to perform the brs you need to understand when you are talking about brs brs is the triggering point for your gl account here your last stage is brs brs is the triggering point here when i say the brs is the triggering point if you go to brs config we will do the configuration in the next session if you go to brs i'll say spro financial accounting and in this let us go to bank accounting in bank accounting you have business transaction here payment transaction in this you have brs we have two types of brs here one is your manual bank statement two is your electronic bank statement this has got a triggering point with your ebs this has got a triggering point with your ebs meaning electronic bank reconciliation configuration will determine the gl account for your bank accounts electronic bank reconciliation configuration will trigger the determination of bank gl account if you are using cash account concept here you have something called the first setting make global settings if you open this similar to your manual bank reconciliation you will be identifying based on certain fundamentals first thing you are going to create account symbol first thing you are going to create account symbol in the account symbol there is something called sip here there is something called sip this is the triggering point this is the triggering point based on which your payment gl accounts are determined based on which your payment gl accounts are determined because only the payment gl account which is feeded manually in the system sorry which is 
extracted which is updated automatically by the system otherwise your incoming gl account is manually given at the time of posting when i say incoming gl account if i am receiving any payment f-28 if i am receiving any payment f-28 you have an option called account you have an option called account meaning bank incoming gl account you can type manually here so there is no problem wherever you have a provision to type gl account manually it is straightforward but wherever system is picking up the gl automatically that is where the problem so that automatic gl determination is applicable only for the outgoing payment especially your automatic payments based on the house bank based on the account id based on the payment method system is going to pick up different different gl account which is nothing but your automatic gl account determination for payments which user fbzp config in fbzp we will be doing account determination for bank gl account in which you will come here fbzp in fbzp you will find bank determination in this bank determination if you take any company code for example i'll take this one L E I N. If I put this, if I select bank accounts, this is your classic. When I say this is your classic, if you are using a balance sheet account, you can use it, or you can use enhanced. Enhanced means if you are using a cash account, you can use it. Even if you are using a balance sheet, you can use it. In either ways, this will work for both. Balance bank account enhanced is going to work for both balance sheet categorized bank account plus. cash categorized balance bank accounts on the other side this bank account alone will be applicable only if you are using balance sheet account currently we are talking about cash account for cash account this has to be used for cash account this has to be used and here you you are not supposed to put gl account here we have given gl account here because this is created as a balance sheet account if this would have been created as a cash account you should leave this blank if if you create the bank gl account as a cash account you are not supposed to give sub account here why you are not supposed to give sub account here because you are not using separate gl account for every bank that is what the whole objective the whole objective is it is a common gl account for all the bank accounts when it is a common gl account for all the bank accounts there is no point i will give here because i may be writing city bank axis bank hdfc bank state bank kotak bank n number of bank accounts i will put here i am not writing 10 gl accounts here because all the banks are updated with the same gl account this gl account is extracted based on this setting here this sip setting self initiated payment if you select this icon if you click on information if you click on this information you will get to know this and when you read this you will understand what exactly it is so this is used exclusively for the payments meaning it can be used to simplify and unify bank clearing account determination through account symbol not only for the bank statement process but also for the automatic payment process this feature is enabled only for payment process relevant for gl account reduction this is used only for the payment processing not the receipts not for the receipts this is only for the payment where you are making the payment not where you are receiving the receipt not the payment receipts only the payments made payment made you are going to use it only in the outgoing transaction that is why you have this here that is why you have this here now based on this what system will do it will expect you are you have given self initiated sip relate, relevant here after this in the next step your going to put the gl account determination here here you are going to put gl account determination this logic will be applicable now this logic is again the same back to basics incoming ending with zero or sorry main account ending with zero incoming ending with one outgoing ending with two whatever the logic that you put it is going to be the same you enable this sip relevant enable this sip relevant again here based on this system is going to work for it now here when you put this there is one more thing another setting that you need to make 
which is from your automatic payment program now in the automatic payment program what we need to do is go to accounts payable receivable business transaction you will have outgoing payment from the outgoing payment automatic outgoing payment in this you have payment method bank selection here there will be a dedicated setting called assign account symbol to payment method assign account symbol to payment method if you open this if you open this there will be a setting here if you add a new entry you need to input your country for example you are working for india put your country and input your payment method input your payment method when you say input your payment method you have two options here point number one you can segregate based on the payment method point number two you can put common gl account for all the payment method in short sub account can be segregated based on the check if you have check incoming check out going transfer incoming transfer outgoing this is used for only the outgoing payment for check outgoing you can put a dedicated gl account for transfer outgoing you can put a dedicated gl account likewise you need to put when you are processing the payment what you are going to do in f in f double one zero or here in short where is it your other payment if i put f dash 58 if i go back you have something called payment method house bank account id payment method house bank account id now this payment method is the triggering point i came out from there this payment method is the triggering point based on the payment method accounting symbol accounting symbol is another triggering point here in your brs i have just shown account symbol next to account symbol you have self-initiated payment sip tick that sip tick this payment method the country the combination will determine the gl account when you remember this combination when you remember these steps this procedure and when you execute the payment transaction with balance sheet account when you execute the payment program with cash account you will practically understand we would have discussed a lot but when you see it practically in the system this is very very simple if you see practically in the system when we configure it this is very simple it will not have any confusion at all in fact you will find this is more easier than your traditional bank account configuration where you are creating multiple gl accounts multiple times app and all different bank reconciliation setup you will find this is very simple very easy to understand provided you are good at the classic bank accounting when i say you are good at classic bank for every bank you will be creating separate main account separate incoming separate outgoing if you are good at it then this is very simple if you are not good at it this will be complicated when i say this is complicated this will create unnecessary confusion you are supposed to understand you are supposed to practice this only after practicing only after practicing your classic gl account creation for the bank house bank account id manual payment automatic payment brs you can take brs at the last because brs will not have much impact if you are able to understand until payment brs is one and the same brs is nothing but it is just the classification from sub account to main account it is straightforward you don't have to worry about brs because the way your brs is working in the similar way it will work here also because your brs anyways you are working with account symbol logic only here also account symbol logic is there so there you don't find any differentiation but till payment you need to understand you need to identify the difference and tomorrow when somebody is asking you you need to make sure you are able to explain it in a proper way by taking simple examples how it is working and what is the concept what is the fundamental if you are able to take it this is going to work in a simple way okay and for this i will do the configuration tomorrow in one of the company codes and then i will post entry in two ways so i will ping somebody to have two company codes for direct posting i can use any company code for the new posting i i'll message somebody to create one company code in that company code we will do it because we cannot have two types of automatic payment bank functionalities in the same company code for cash accounting we will use one company code to test 
for balance sheet accounting we will use another company code for testing we will compare both entries when we compare the both entries when we see the reports you will practically understand how your balance sheet reports are working payments are happening how you are able to simplify this similarly cash account you can practically relate it so this activity we will perform in the tomorrow's session any questions on this i will answer after doing the configuration because after doing the configuration when i show it most of the doubts clarifications whatever you have everything is automatically removed when i talk tomorrow when i configure and don't show the entries in the system tomorrow all the confusions whatever you have maximum will be automatically answered okay so we will connect at the same time tomorrow all right fine then good night